Hi everyone. I finally got my first month, <clears throat> excuse me, kit for Annie's Club, the crochet uh, striped afghan, where you do three, they send you fa uh, fabrics, my sewing machine's here, where they send you yarn, uh, enough yarn to do three strips each month. And I'll have a link below um, for for how to, how, to, how to order it and so forth. Excuse me. <clears throat> if you're interested. So I already cut the top because I, I didn't want to have to um, fumble with that. I'm fumbling enough as it is here. It's it's bubble wrap on the inside so the the the, the plastic of the of the things uh, are sticking to it. So there's the yarn. Pretty, isn't it? And that's a, um, it may look kind of gray, but it's actually a, a very dusty uh, purple. Let's see if you can, can you see it? Does it show better? Yeah, maybe it shows a little better here. And that's the actual um, afghan that I'll be making. I'll have to check and see what size it is. Let me see. So that's all that's in there. So we have a um, crochet hook. It's in a little pocket in the side. So there's a crochet hook and a tapestry. I call it a tapestry needle. The needle you use for sewing in your ends and sewing um, knitting or or um, crocheting together. That's a big eye. We can handle that. And then, um, oh, let's see what else is here. So the rest is just uh, paperwork. So a pack of, um, a pack of stitch um, markers. And I think this will be a good idea and the, oh, they kind of color, co color coordinated them. I think this will be a good idea when I cast on because if I'm casting on across this entire row, that I'll never remember what not what number stitch I'm on by the time I get to the other end. And then this is general information of um, of your regular crochet stitches, and it's got some special crochet stitches. So let me just put that like that. And I don't see where there's an end to open, so I'm just going to cut. Be careful when you cut across anything, even when you open up the actual package, to make sure that you don't uh, cut into your your uh, yarn by mistake. So I'm not sure if you can see the purple of that. It's just barely a purple. It's really pretty. Purple gray, I guess it would be. And then here's the next one. And it's, um, I believe it's Annie's own um, yarn. And then the last one. And then the pattern. I'm not going to show the inside of the pattern uh, because that's not right for, you know, fair to Annie's. But that's the afghan. I was looking to see what size it is. I'll have to go on the uh, website and um, find out what the actual sizes because if it's right here I'm missing it. So this is going to be stripes one through three and here's a picture of the, the whole thing. So you can see that some strips are different colors, some a little airier than airy or that's air like A-I-R, airier than others like the one here I can see. Um, and, and it's, and it's labeled, sorry, I keep pulling it back and forth. It's labeled stripe one, stripe two, stripe three. So I figured I could handle 
getting that much done each month. I should be good for that. So um, let me look at the uh, instructions for each um, stripe and um, do a little bit. I think they're I think they're three different colors. So I could start a little bit of each one, or I'll start one today, and then I'll come back on and do a little quick video to do another one. Um, just in case you want to stitch along with me, kind of keep you going. And I'll put pictures on the on my blog, and the blog is not www. There's no www. It's Loreen, L-O-R-E-E-N, dot type pad. T Y P E P A D dot com. And I'll also put that link in there because I'll put some pictures of my progress there and on Miss Lorene Schoolhouse um, Facebook page in case you want to stitch along with me, kind of help. We'll help each other keep going. So that's what's in the kit. You have everything you need. Uh, you've got your, the proper size hook, your tapestry needle, and the um, stitch markers. So I'm good to go. Just need a little pair of scissors and a little practice. And I will let you know um, what size this is. And um, I'll do another little part and add it on to this video. I just remembered in uh, Miss Lorene Schoolhouse uh, Saturday Sew On, we made these, I called it a busket, um, a week or two ago. So I think that's going to hold every all my supplies. Let's see. Let's put it that way. Oh. So whichever one I'm working on, I can have that one sticking up. And my pattern can go right in beside it. And all my little extra stuff. And I'm ready, ready to go, so I can keep my project right in the, my my basket um, as I'm working on it and when I'm not working on it until it gets bigger. Then I may have to make a bigger basket. So if you're a sewer, um, this is a really simple pattern, and I want to say it was two Saturdays ago. So this is February twentieth, twenty twenty one. So two weeks back, fourteen days. What is that? About February sixth or so. And it'll say right on it, uh, fabric basket. So let me go ahead and get started on my strips. Okay, I read the pattern for the first strip. And um, it's a single crochet and a double crochet. And then, again, I'm not going to uh, do the actual pattern because um, that to me it, would probably, it wouldn't be fair to Annie's uh, to to display their pattern. So I'm just going to show the single crochet and double crochet. And I will say I'm not an expert crocheter by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I just thought, you know, for those of you that might want to try it, um, you know, if I struggle, it'll be something you would struggle over. So the first thing is I took the tools and um, let's see, today is February 20th, 21. And so in the Miss Lorene Schoolhouse Saturday Sew Along for the last Saturday, so that seven day, so that would be the 13th, I believe it was last week, um, we made this scissor case. And I thought, well, you know, it goes with my basket. So I just put the tools that, that came with it, plus a couple more. So I needed a pair of scissors and my double eye needle. Let me bring everything out so you can see around here. Um, here's the tapestry needle, the uh, stitch um, stitch markers, and I always have a clip in there in case I need to clip a pattern or, or whatever, the scissors and the crochet hook. So I'm going to just bring one of these out, put everything else away. And I have to chain quite a few, as you can imagine, because it's, uh, I believe, I forgot to check. It's uh, I, I know it's 45 inches wide. And um, and I'll check later to um, see what the length is. I'm sure it shows on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the pattern. 
So I leave a little bit longer tail maybe than most people do, but and this yarn is very, very soft. This is going to be really nice. So I do a slip knot. Let me move in a little bit closer. And again, I'm sure there's a, you know, a hundred people on YouTube can, can probably, you know, that, that crochet all the time. So I just make a circle. Let me see if, they, if, I, if I stop and think about it, it's hard to do. So I circle around and then I just bring that yarn up. So you can see. And the slip knot is made so you can be tighter or looser, whatever you whatever you prefer. So I don't like to make it too tight. I find that that we tend to, or I tend to, when I'm making my first um, my slip knot, I make it too tight. So you just got to remember you have to have room enough for that for your uh, crochet hook to move in and out. And I know uh, people. Uh, Hold the yarn differently, but you got to have a little tension on this yarn. And I'm going to move, I'm just going to hold this tail is in my other hand. Maybe I'm a little too close. There. Um, because I don't I don't want to grab the tail. I'm sure there's plenty of us that have done that. And you grab the tail and you start chaining that and then you run out because you grabbed the wrong the wrong end. So I just got it right here. And I kind of use my finger as my little table. And all I'm doing is uh, grabbing the yarn, and you want your hook to go downwards as it comes through the loop. And I'm trying to do this slow. And see, it makes a little, let me do a couple. It makes a little V or a little heart. And again, you don't want to do them too tight. Um, with time, you'll start to make them more consistent. So I'm looping it, and I'm just, all I'm doing is just pulling that yarn through the loop. And see how it makes this little group of um, V's or hearts. So I would go ahead, and I'm just going to chain a few more. I'm not going to chain the hundred and whatever it is, hundred million stitches that I have to do. But I think if I've got quite a few stitches, I'm just going to stick, stick a, a marker in, in that V when I get to 20 stitches. So every 20 stitches, I'll put one of these in because I know very well that if I, if I wait and count it out at the end, every time I count it, it'll be a different, it'll be a different size. Uh, uh, a different count from the first count. So um, so I get to the end of the row. So say I needed, I don't know, let's we'll just say I need 20 stitches. I'm going to chain 20, but then I need one more. So I'm going to chain one more. So, um, and a lot of times instructions will include that one more in, in the chain amount. And then what I want to do, and I think I'll come in closer again. I just got to make sure I keep my hand where you can see it. So now I'm going to stop my first row, and I'm going to show you how I do a single crochet. So the loop that's on the hook is not is not a stitch yet. It's just a loop on the hook. So I want to. There's my first my first stitch. You see it right there? It looks like the little V or a little heart. So I'm going to skip it and go to the next one. And I'm going, to, I'm going to stick my hook in so you can see. So I'm going at the top. Wait, I'll point with this. I'm going in like that. Okay. And, and I'm just going to, and I'm holding on to the tail. And I'm just going to grab the thread, that thread, the yarn, pull it through the first hoop. Uh, first hoop the first loop and then I'm going to grab the thread uh, the yarn again I'm going to say thread a million times and then I pull it through two and that's a single crochet so I'm going to go right to the next loop and see how if you look at the if you look at the chain I'm just going through the top side well it's actually just right through the middle of the of the heart and I'm going to go slow and I just want to show you. Oh. 
And I want to make sure I have a little yarn out here. So I'm not, I don't want any tension from the, from the ball of yarn. So let's see if I can, I'll turn as if, I gotta see where I need to be, okay. I'm gonna turn as if my fingers like are in front of me. So I'm gonna grab the loop, loop pull it through the first one, and then pull it through, grab it and pull it through too. And I'm going to go to the next one and go to the next one. And it's a little hard when you first start because you don't have a whole lot to hang on to. So so see, I'm going right through that top. And you'll find over time your fingers will, especially for this hand, will work however however it works for you. And then I want to make sure I go in the last one, which is just before that. That's the little knot of the um, slip knot. So that that slip knot loop was a, was a stitch. Okay, now. I do my, I, I, I don't turn and then chain, I chain and then turn. So what we need to do is we need to, because we're doing a single crochet, we need to, we finished our stitches. So if you count across here, each one of these V's or hearts would be a, a stitch. So if you needed 20 stitches, when you're done, you count across here. This is not, the one on the, on the hook is not a stitch yet. Just count them and, and you should have your 20. Then I'm going to just do a chain because this is a single crochet. I'm going to chain and turn. And I think of that chain as, as making the, the edge or, or the turn in the corner. And now I want to look at it again because I think if you look at it from the top, it's much easier. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we want to skip the first one. So I'm going to take my loop out, my hook out a second. So that's the loop that's going to be on my hook. There's the first one. I'm coming in the second one. And I'm coming straight across both hearts or both parts of the heart. Okay. So let me just make this smaller. So I'm skipping the first one, which is way see it's right over here it's almost natural to go to the second one because otherwise you'd be coming back in the one you just came out of and it, you know just fall back out so i'm going to put my hook through and see it's going through both sides of the heart pull my yarn through and once and then pull my yarn through two it's easier when you go a little faster. So I'm going to go through my next one. And see, you can see. See how my hook is through those two. Pull the yarn through. And then pull the yarn through two loops. Okay. And we continue on. Make that chain at the end. So when you're at the end, your last one, if you hold it up, see, it's very easy to see it when you hold it up. Sometimes if you're looking from this angle, it's a little harder. So if it's hard for you to see where your stitches are, there they are right there. And, and that would be my last one right there, down there. So that's the single crochet. So... I'm back at the end of my row. Now, if I had to do a double crochet, I need to have three chains because I need it to be taller to match a double crochet. So I'm going to do one, two, three. And I'm going to do the same thing. So there's my, there's my three up there. I'm going to come down oh, with a double crochet. You want to yarn 
over first, so I've got two loops on there. Then come through, and you're coming through the stitch the same way. There's the whole part right there. And I'm going to pull it through once, and then pull it through. Oh, oh hold on. Did that wrong. Let's try that again. Pull it through, pull it through two, pull it through two. So now that chain that I, oh, let me do one more. So yarn over to begin with, pull it through, pull it through two, pull it through two. And so now you can see, see how much taller those are. And so see, here's the first one. That was the three chains. That made the first double crochet, and then you can continue on. So you can see along the top again your stitches. So when you're doing a single crochet at the end of the row, you do one chain. If you're doing a double crochet, you do three chains and then continue on. You're, you're putting it through the exact same way, no matter which one it is. It depends on the single crochet. You're going to, you're going to go through the, the loops, grab your yarn, get the, make a loop and go through the two loops. And the double crochet, you're going to, um, put the yarn over. Oh, I need a little more yarn. Go through the same way. So you're going through both sides of that heart or V. Pull the yarn through, go through two loops, grab the yarn again, go through two loops, and continue across. So these are the two types of stitches that are in the first strip of the afghan. So I hope you, you stitch along with me. I'll do another little video when I get to the, to the next strip or the next two strips, but I just wanted to get that, that started. And um, again, if you want to join the club, I'll put a link below. And I do get a small commission. Um, if you go through, use my link, it helps me pay for my, you know, for, for, for the equipment stuff that I use to make the videos. And it doesn't cost you anything extra. I believe you get 50% off your first month's kit. So I hope you enjoy it and hope some of you might stitch along with me. Stitch, whoop, go back again. And 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 um, make sure you put your tools somewhere that the, nobody uh, sits on. My brother sat on a crochet hook when we were little, so I always think of that. Um, so just keep them safe and enjoy. If you, if you stitch along with me, enjoy. Or if you're stitching along something else, that's fine. And I'll post some pictures in... Uh, Miss Lorene Schoolhouse Facebook and on uh, lorene.typepad.com. I'll put the links below and and keep you posted on the pictures. And I have I have a month to get my um my three rows my three stripes three strips done. So thanks. We'll see you soon.